And good morning, everybody. Guten Tag. Bienvenue. I have here two telescopes and two tripods. You notice there's a difference in the height from the ground between the two. The one on the left is much larger by a few inches. And the one on the right. The one on the right is the uh, panoramic mount made by uh, a German company uh, for uh, Telview. The uh, tripod itself is German. The actual mount head is made in the USA by Telview. Telescope on the right is the Telview 76. And it's much larger brother, the Telview 85. Both exhibit outstanding characteristics. We get a, a optical char uh, characteristics, good scopes. Let's see, can I get a, a better view here? Maybe you guys can see it. Yeah. Now, obviously, it's much easier for a fellow of my size to get to the zenith with the more expensive uh, Telview HD4 mount, which accommodates up to a uh, Telview 4 inch telescope and other telescopes of that size. You notice here, if you can see it, I'll try and cant it. You can see it. Telview 85 has a bracket. Can you see that, people? It's got a bracket. That's a, a dedicated bracket for both the this uh, Telview mount. And it also fits snugly on my Vixen, my Vixen uh, saddle. So it's just a matter of interchanging them. There are some bolts at the bottom, male bolts, screws right in, you're all set. I have the same for this guy. But they're not mounted on there. I do have the the uh, adapter for it, and uh, I will be going getting into this telescope for you shortly. It's a little bit bigger, there's no doubt. It's pretty large compared to the minuscule. Uh, 76 yeah they're both good scopes good mounts major advantage of of this mount is the zenith and i'll show you as i sit in the air chair i don't have it set up right i wouldn't have this leg in my way i can easily see towards the zenith you see that not only that, I can get up without bending down and use the star uh, finder. What do they call it? Star beam. Uh, so yeah, this has the two inch. Right now I've got this set up with a Takahashi one and a quarter inch uh, diagonal that I received. I'm going to give it a try. Uh, but, you know, these are great. This is a great diagonal. Let's see. Two inch, one tenth wave. Uh, diagonal you know so it should do the job I haven't been well over the past few years I, I had a heart transplant and things and so I, I haven't put these two scopes through their paces so don't don't think I'm an expert on them but 
I have owned a Telview 101 and I have owned the Pronto and the Ranger and they were excellent telescopes. So I have no doubt about that. I have put this on the moon a few times and plan to do it as well as this one. Uh, but I go for simplicity. I'm only going to bring out one scope at a time when I do it. Uh, I always keep my eyepiece bag here available and uh, got to have this air puffer. Uh, these are, this is fairly lightweight. Uh, it's about 20 pounds. Uh, this one's about 10 pounds, the smaller one. I like this one for daytime observing and I like it for lunar observing. Uh, but when I go for critical learning observing, I'm going to pull out the Vixen mount. But these are great for deep sky, whatever you want to do. Uh, so I just thought I'd give you an idea of the size difference between the two mounts. If you're a tall person, you'd probably not want to use the smaller mount as it is a problem, for me at least. Uh, to use the uh, to use it at the zenith and try and locate objects, so I have to bend down and I have a bad back and all this other stuff. But for younger people, you know, when I had a had a panoramic back in the in the nineties, I didn't have any of those problems. So, you know, if you're in good shape, you don't have to worry. Uh, but when you're not in good shape, like I am, uh, probably. Uh, for us older guys, it's easier to spot objects when it's easier to spot objects. Uh, and so you need, to, you need the appropriate height. But yeah, these are, these are the two that I own. I'm not a collector. Uh, I'm not a collector. Uh, so I'm going to put them through their paces, and then I guess I'll, uh, I'll pass one on to my son. You know, when time comes. That's all I have. Thanks. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day.